Let me put you on game Don't listen to people who lose or you'll do the same Stop talking to people Hello everybody and welcome to my first video on this channel My name is Callum and today I'm going to be doing a review slash walkthrough on FX Replay Now FX Replay is a fairly new backtesting tool that came out towards the end of 2022 I believe now, I started using it in December and beforehand I was predominantly doing my backtesting on TradingView's bar replay tool now the bar replay tool obviously has its limitations, so you have to manually gather all your data, which is very tedious. Um, you can easily cheat, um, for so for example, you can just remove any orders that were losers. You can also just add winners that you didn't take um, on. And then when you're switching between time frames, say for example from the 15 minute time frame to the 4 hour time frame, once you click the 4 hour, it then shows you where the 4 hour candle is either heading or where it's actually closed at. So that gives you a huge bias to whether you're going you're to take that trade. Um, and then the other available platforms that are out there for backtesting, I've used some of them, but what I found with them is that you're basically doing your analysis on MT4 or MT5, which I found that is very outdated and hard to use. So the number one selling point for me with FX Replay is the fact that you're doing your analysis on TradingView. And then you're actually placing your trades pretty much on TradingView, but you're using their overlay for it. So when you sign up to FX Replay, you get a five day free trial. Now when you're signing up, you need to add your card details um, at, the, at the start process. And then after the five days, it will then take the payment from your card. Um, but you can cancel at any time and your, your, um, your five day free trial will still remain. Um, so yeah, this is the home page. On the left hand side, you get your creative session. On the right hand side, you can add your strategy. So we're going to create a strategy here, we're going to call it the 30M, you can add a description if you wish. Oh, it bugged out somehow for some reason, Let's try again. And there we go, it comes up here on the right hand side. Um, so the only one I've actually used so far is this all entries strategy um, and you can see the, date, uh, the data it's already given me here. And then on the left hand side you can create a session, you add your account balance you wish to have, you can then pick the pair that is available from any of these, we're going to do GPB USD. Now what I've seen with the pairs is that the data starts from either January the 3rd 2016 or January the 4th. So we're going to do our session from the 1st of August on the Monday morning and we're going to end it at the end of August in the night time like so so that's when it starts that's when it's going to finish and then you can add your strategy that you've previously already made or you can add a new one we'll do the 30 minute one that we added and then it'll come up on top of the list on your dashboard right here now you can either go straight into the back testing session or you can edit see your analytics which obviously there is none for that session press continue and that will take you into the into the session or you can delete but i'll show you how to edit so you can only edit your account balance to say we want a million uh, pound account instead or dollar account and we actually want to do our 15 minute strategy you can change it like so and it will adjust it now let me just show you some analytics from a previous session i've done so here's our profit for the session it was 48.53 percent Here's the account balance, here's the win rate of 41%. Now here's my total trades taken, so I took 34 trades, I had 14 wins and 20 losses. Here's my curve um, throughout the session. Now you can see my average risk to reward, my max risk to reward, and some other details available. Now with this one here, so it says could have profits, so that's gone break even. So it does this figure on 1.5 risk to reward. So once my trade hit over 1.5 risk to reward and it came back and hit my stop loss, um, it then added to, th to this figure here, which would be in nine. Now for me, this, this isn't very useful as it's based on 1.5 risk to reward. Now if I could change this beforehand and say, make the figure five risk to reward instead of 1.5 risk to reward, this would be highly beneficial to me 
but at the moment this is pretty much useless um, and then we get the summary of our trades and then you can see your winning trade summary and losing trade summary like so and then you get your performance per day now this is pretty useful so for example on a Wednesday if you found that you were always uh, down on a Wednesday you would then probably say to yourself right I probably shouldn't be trading on a Wednesday for whatever the reason is then on the other hand if a Thursday was always your best day it's always a day you're hitting the big winners you would then say to yourself right on a Thursday I need to be on the charts and ready to make the profit and then lastly you get your trades by sessions so you can see how profitable you were on London session New York session or out of hours being um, Asian the Asian session now t something to note here is that I didn't actually take any trades in Asia so I assume what it's doing is that when you hit a take profit or a break even or a stop loss it then basically adds that to that session even though if you did place the order on like New York London for example so yeah some something to note okay so I actually head into how to place trades and how to how to actually backtest now so you come into here, press start. Now this will come up here. You can just click minimize this for now. And then your charts will basically be the trading view default charts that will uh, that will be there when you're making a, a trading view account. Basically, you'll also get the volume indicator at the bottom, but I've removed that already. So as you would in trading view, you can go in. You can change your candles to how you wish to have them. like so and we'll save that um, and then this will basically then say for every session you, you do um, same with changing any of the colors any of the settings here exactly the same as trading view and again select all your time frames you wish to favorite select all the tools you wish to favorite so I've got my bar here so it's exactly the same as trading view the only difference is you get this overlay here and then you get the place order here um, so with the overlay, this, this overlay that, that they've added here, so it's basically from how far you want to skip ahead. So for example, we go on the 15 minute and what you can either do, you can either just play it like so, you can adjust the speed that it plays at here, if it does it, there we go, sorry my internet's a bit slow at the moment, like so, or you can tap this every time. Put this back down to one but the easiest way to do it basically is using control and space as it says there so control space and you can control it a lot more easier like that so for example now i'm looking at this now and i want to place a cell for whatever reason what i'll do i'll get my position tool i get it ready here so i want my stop loss here I'm going to want my take profit down here somewhere. I have it set. I make sure it's selected. I then place, I then press place order. You choose the risk you want. It will have it automatically selected, all the details needed. You can then either hit sell limit or, well, for this sell limit, yeah, or a market execution. Now, here we'll do a sell limit. So once it comes past, I'm also done it there for some reason. Okay, so once it comes past um, and hits this line here, we'll be in the trade. So there we go, we're in the trade now. And you can see the profit on the right hand side here. So let's play it long. Okay, so now I'm looking at that, say, right, I want to go break even. So I just move my stop loss to break even. I then go, okay, we took out this low. I want to then take partials. So you can do partials of the original position or what's left of the position. So we haven't taken any partial checks, so we do 75% of the original position. We we'll press save. We then skip a few bars ahead, and it would take the profit, as you can see now. So now we see if we come back and hit us for break even, or we hit take profit. Okay, so now I might think to myself, right, I want to take some more partials here. I'm going to take another 50% of what's left. I press save, like so. And let's let this run. Get some news. Okay. Alright, so now I'm looking at this. Okay, okay. I just want to close this trade out now. It's been a few days. 
I don't like how it's going. I'm going to close it like so. Close position. Uh, so what's left of the original position? 100% save. Press a few bars ahead. It will then catch up and it will then close the trade and we can see the closed positions. There's no open position left. The closed position is here below. And then yeah. So that's pretty much all to show you um, on how to use the software. Um, it's very easy to use and overall I highly recommend it. It's made my back testing a lot more easier, a lot more efficient. 